I, I feel good. Like, I feel loose. I feel like I'm flowing right now. Mm-hmm. That's, that's me ideally on psychedelics. It's like, hell yeah, this is, like, everything's good. Like, um, but if we go deeper, I think, or, like, if we think about the start, I don't know, if I start to think about, like, why I'm even out here, or the, like, what the reason is, like, how I got here, like, yeah, that starts to get kind of trippy. And then the beginning of that, and then getting that, and then getting that, and then getting that. All the way up until what started the world, and like, <laughs> the beginning of time, the existence of time. And yeah. That's where you feel like your trips go, is like when you go to the beginning, you just feel like. When I try and think, I think. When I try and <laughs> dig deep. Yeah. <laughs> when, you know I, what? I, when I yeah. dig deep. <laughs> when I fucking. Yeah. Mine go just to like basically like the surface, just like what's going on. I'm just like, man, like I didn't know I've been feeling this way. I need to deal with it now. Oh really? Yeah, that's kind of where I go with psychedelics. Like every time I do like. That's why you don't like to always do them. Because I, I want to do them with intention. I don't want to do them like just as recreational. Because I always just do them with intention. Yeah, and, like, I think because I want to know is to do it recreational. Like, <laughs> and I feel like those can be like the craziest times, yeah, just yeah. because like you're gonna you're just doing it, and all of a sudden you'll find something that you're not like meaning to find. You're like, oh fuck, I don't yeah. even know how to handle this, yeah. you know? And that's that can be great too. Those are probably the most profound trips. Yeah. Or the ones that you're just like, whoa. And then also what happened, like one, I remember one time when we were tripping out really bad at John's house. And I don't know how it got to this point, but like. Was I, that when we were going out to the car? We were out in the car. Yeah. And like, I was like, I was like, I felt like I was shaking like really hard. Like I would go lay down and I felt like I would be Oh yeah, you really jolt hard. up all of a sudden. And I was yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah. no, I'm not going to go that far. And then like. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know, because I was, felt like I was getting far away from you. And then when I woke up, you weren't even recognizable to me. Nothing, my circumstances, what I'm doing there, I didn't even know what the fuck. I don't even know, I didn't know why I was there, what I was doing, and like, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah well, you don't I, know what was going on. I felt like I was in the a, intent, amnesia. nothing, yeah. And I remember I was like kind of just freaking out and just like, just freaking the fuck out, not knowing what the fuck. Yeah, is. you just kept repeat like on the surface, I, like me in my own trip, just watching you. I was like, he just needs to get it out, and like you were just like Vegeta, Lucia, something, something, something. Like you just kept repeating the same shit, and I was like, I, right. yeah. <laughs> we'll stick here. Yeah, Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, no, I don't, I don't know why. I have no fucking clue. It, I think I remind you of Dragon Ball Z or we're something to like. Dragon Ball Z I don't like, know. That day. We, we, I was we were to really to into watch. Dragon Ball Z I at the time. I was trying to get you to watch the whole series. <laughs> yeah. And, and, like, we were watching, uh, the, I think the second Broly movie that day. And then I was like, you know, we were going to go to John's trip. <laughs> and yeah, like, yeah. I in the car. Yeah. We were watching fucking Get Out of all movies to watch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, no wonder That's... you had this. <laughs> well, I had to leave, and then yeah. fucking John was tripping me the fuck out. He just seemed way too zen. <laughs> I, I don't know. His like face, he was just like he was good. He was zonked, and I was like, yeah. I, I was like, is he okay? Like I was like freaking. I was like, Man. I had no idea. I was just kind of in the movie, and I was like, yeah, whatever. I just I felt like John was just like I don't know this gatekeeper <laughs> <laughs> of like souls, and like you can't escape this dimension, and like you know, yeah, and then, then I had to leave. No way, really? Yeah. I remember when we were outside, you were like, did John like freak you out when you were there? Like, oh, no, yeah. no. And I was like, oh, shit, he's tripping. And this is like, okay, and mind you, I, had I, think, no idea. I think also, like, this is when me and John were first really becoming friends. Yeah, that's like, well, that's only like, the third time we've been to his that's apartment. Only the, like, let's the, do a bunch like, of shrooms yeah, with you, bud. Yeah, let's fucking do shrooms. <laughs> and like, it would not, anytime we know John, it would not be like, the, the journey would not be complete without someone freaking out on shrooms, but like, yeah. Yeah, I think I was just freaked out to he was like a new friend and like yeah. I didn't want him to like think I was weird and shit and like, yeah. you know, I didn't want to be weird in front of you guys because I felt like, I don't know. You just were in a weird at like moment in time and you felt like you were just like everything was weird and at like you point, were being yeah. weird and like. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can see that. Oh, man. At this time, yeah, exactly. At this point in time, I, I literally only hung out with you. Just with you. No, I <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we didn't really do anything. Do much anything. Yeah. Um, like, outside of fighting and the work. Yeah. And then, um, John was, like, my only friend outside of that. Oh, babe. Oh, shit. Good? Yeah. So anyway, John. Yeah, John was like, yeah, John was like my friend that I was really reaching outside. Cause I think uh, at this point in time, I, I hadn't really talked to many of my other friends. I, I was talking to Zach and Sam, obviously, but mm -hmm. like not all the time, you yeah. know? We weren't hanging out all the time and I didn't really have anything else besides. Fighting me. Fighting you, work. Yeah. Yeah. And then John was like a guy who I used to train with. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's hang out. And you know, we do the same shit. Like, fuck yeah, this is like perfect. Let's do it. Yeah. It was like basically us coming home from like college and shit and just like. Yeah. Like it would have been, we would have been coming back home. Yeah. But for me, like, tr like, Psychedelics, I think are just something that like I like to just do just to like realize where I am, you know, like this is how I've been feeling. This is what I've been putting on others, you know, like I feel like I get to a point where like I explode and then like and like I have no idea what's going on and like everything's going so fast and like yeah like when you're tripping out yeah like bad. I just don't know what that's just my everyday life when uh -huh. I get like <laughs> when I just get like anxious and like everything's just I feel like everything like I don't know what I'm doing anymore and then I just like take a psychedelic and I just like cuz I I build up to that moment of intent so like I'm I know I'm gonna take this psychedelic I know that I'm having these issues. Fucking tell me why am I having these issues? Like brain, mind, go inside myself and like tell me what the fuck's going on in there. Like that's that's the deepest look at myself is that I take. Yeah. Cuz I know when I go in there, I'm not going to like what I see at all, but I'm also going to come out like loving myself even more. You know, like It's amazing. Yeah. And that's why, like, I feel like I need to, I don't know, I guess I just get to moments where I just, I feel like I need to get that way. I'm just like, all right, yep, it's time to take that psychedelic. I'm getting a little too out of, I'm going in a direction where I don't know I'm going. I need to, I need to recenter myself. That's why I like psychedelics. Yeah, I like it because I get yeah the introspective look. I think I love to freak out. Honestly, I know. <laughs> I love to freak out. I think it's because I can take something with that. You know, like if I freak out about something, I can always I can take that with me. Yeah. As opposed to like I can figure that out. I can take it like okay, what's going on with me? And like. But the reason you're freaking out is because you're carrying that weight. You know, like you're fighting something. Why am I fighting that? You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. No, no, no. That's exactly why you freak sure. out. And like you don't know what it is, and it keeps you in this loop. Yeah, and you're just like, it's like. And until you figure it out, then you're never gonna. Until you move forward or accept that it's a reality. Mhm. Mm That's why freakouts are so profound too. It's because they really lead you to that place where I think 
something's telling you. I don't know if it's energy, but you know what I'm talking about? Like, you, yeah. you feel that? Like, something's telling you to go this way. Or, like... Like, you're being directed. Yeah. Being guided. And it's like, most people, when you hear them on psychedelics and what they're talking about, you're like, fuck yeah. Like, no, I feel that. Yeah. And it's, like, the weirdest thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. is that is that just being on psychedelics? Or is that, like, us being, like not on psychedelics, you know, like just being out in like the world and like seeing it. Well, seeing it for what it really is. Yeah. yeah. Like, do we feel those same things when we're out like in reality and just like, you know, whatever. And do we just exactly. like contain it? And like, well, what are we? Yeah. Yeah. Just going that. Do we ignore it that much? Matrix of yeah. life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> do we not give it that enough attention? Like, why? <laughs> Why are we choosing to ignore it like this? Exactly. And that's kind of what, that's why I like to, I like to look at, I think, yeah, the psychedelics gives me like a more objective view of things. Cause I can they kill the ego and see things for how it really is. Like, I feel like it's how it really is. It might not even be how it really is. Yeah. You know, doing psychedelics, I actually forgot we were in a fucking, like, <laughs> epidemic right now. <laughs> yeah. Or pandemic, whatever. Yeah. I totally forgot about the coronavirus. Yeah. I was, like, looking at all these people with, like, their... I can tell you're feeling kind of trapped or confined in your space. Yeah. And then, I don't know, That that's kind of, like, a insecurity thing, too, like... If you're not happy, then what am I doing? Like, well, what am I doing to cause that? Or what am I, you know, either cause that or like... That's well, not even you. I know, but that's, that's what goes through my mind. It's yeah. like, what am I doing to cause this? Or what am I doing to prevent it? Because if I'm not doing anything to cause it, well, I'm not doing anything to prevent it either. If I'm not the reason why, you know what I mean? You're trying to find a reason. Yeah. And you're trying to, to help me. To myself, I think. <laughs> yeah. To be angry at myself for it's just nonsensical, just like. Is that how you feel? Uh. That you're just like trying to find a reason to be mad at yourself? I think so. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like it, like whatever I'm feeling is your fault, and you're trying to make it that way. Yeah. It must be something you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It must be something I'm doing. No. Oh man, do I make you feel that way, or is it just something that you feel like you do to yourself? No, you definitely don't make me feel like that. I think I've always felt like that. I've always kind of felt like that, no matter where I'm at. Like if somebody's upset. Really? Like, yeah. That if it's not because of me, then maybe I've done something, or maybe I, I failed to prevent that something. You know, I didn't do my part or something. I never made you feel that way, though, right? No. Or you can tell me if I have. Well, I think ugh, it's just it's not you as a person. I don't think you intend to make me feel that way. But just things that happen, you know, just things that I take wrong or not wrong or just things that I perceive as like, oh, man, I could have done this. And then she wouldn't be upset or man, maybe I shouldn't have gotten angry at her this morning. Maybe she would be have a better day at her job, and maybe she wouldn't be upset when she comes home or, you know, something. Oh. No. That has nothing to do with you. And that sounds like, and don't take this upon yourself, but I know myself, I think that sometimes I can project that out onto others. And I might make you feel that way. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't. I don't mean to make you feel that way, Angel. No, I don't think you do. I don't think you intend to. I think we just. That's how it is. But I don't feel like you're intentionally trying to do it. I know that internally, it's something that I have to deal with or untangle. And you know, if I do my end and you do your end, Party. you know, we'll come to an understanding. Yeah. You know, like if if you're ups like you know if you're upset about something and I'm not the cause of it or whatever the cause of it, figure that out and 
you know, if I figure whatever I'm upset about, like, if I figure that out, then... We can come together. Yeah, like, not making our problems us, not making, uh, like, our, that our identity. Yeah, you know? bringing it like, in, bringing other problems that have nothing to do with each other yeah. inside to our relationship. Like, me not associating you with... Yeah. Or something, or you, uh, you know, associating me with being tired mm-hmm. or hungry or something. You know, we bring outside. Yeah, we bring outside problems that have nothing to do with our significant other, who we're supposed to love and come home to, and like we're supposed to comfort and have like debriefing talks like this. Yeah. And just feel totally at ease. Like we're supposed to have like yeah, it's like talks like this, and we always talk about having talks like this. I feel like <laughs> and we never do. I, yeah, like, not I, as much as we used to. Yeah, we used to. We used to talk. always have talks like this. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just you bring in so much toxicity from your day to day. It's like it's like your significant other is supposed to be your detoxifier. You know, like you, <laughs> like you come home and they're just like like in Rick and Morty when you go through that like. The fucking. The, uh, he's like. He's thing. like. <laughs> it's called swallow. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking swallow. It's the back of your fucking throat. Yeah. He's getting and then he's like, hey man, it's cool. I probably yeah. should have done it. He's like, no, I, I get it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reasonably, like, understanding. He just <laughs> raises me. But that's asshole. like. <laughs> as not on, like, a huge level like that. But yeah, that's what your significant other is essentially supposed to be. It's like your detoxifier. Your person that's supposed to like you come home, they just clean you of all your stuff, and you're able to just go home and be like, man, this person was a piece of shit, and da da da, and just get everything you out. That you know that it's the significant others' no, responsibility no, 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 no. To, to do that because I can say for myself that I try every fucking day. I try to detoxify. You know, I hope that you don't think that. You know, I don't know. I feel like I don't do a good job. I'm sorry. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying... I know, I know. It's not one person's job. Yeah. But this is also, I guess, what we're trying to expand upon. Because you just made what I was saying. You felt like... All right, I made so... it about me. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. No, it's okay. So, like, what I'm saying is... That person... You're not supposed to take away all my problems. That's not what you're meant for. Yeah. No. I'm just supposed to have nice, real conversation with you and with each other and just talk it over and just like, you know, feel in a good space, in a good loving space with each other. But we bring it all the toxicity in from our outside life. Yeah, yeah. We let it get inside. We let it creep in. So our detoxifier should be a loving home that we make. Yeah. Yeah, keep everything outside of it. I think it's our yeah. responsibility to filter out the bad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Talk and, to each other. And it's so simple. It's so simple. And you hear it all the time, but it just gets so hard. At least for me to do. I get it. Why do you feel like... It's something you're doing. I just when we were talking, like, it just seems like you bring a lot of weight on yourself. Yeah, I, th- I guess so. I mean, yeah, I, I do bring a lot of weight, I think, on myself. I think, it, it, I feel like, I don't know why I do that. I don't know what the purpose is, but I think it's because I feel like it's going to make me perform better at whatever task presents itself. So, like, I'm, like, I, I, I don't know. That's my reasoning anyway behind it. I don't you know. I think I'm just trying to prepare myself so I put on all the weight and get used to it. I put on, I put it on the hardest difficulty. Oh, so you're trying to put, so that's, that okay. It, so then when, you know, if, if anything else is easy. Yeah, you're trying to do the, that's what, it makes sense because whenever you're doing a video game, I always wonder when I first met you, you like would put the video game on like extreme hard. All like, yeah, fuck yeah. Your first time playing, I was like, what the fuck? War, this guy goes hard. I was so, I was so angry. <laughs> I, I got a war. Like the first. You chapter, were doing it a million times. 
I just kept I'm going. I'm sitting here like this guy. I, just, I, kept, I didn't stop. I was like, I have to figure out yeah. what the fuck <laughs> is the mechanics. What am I doing wrong? Like, <laughs> yeah, you just kept doing it over and over eventually, and over Eventually, I didn't even know what the deal was. I, eventually, I didn't even know like what you the... You didn't know what, what the, your outcome was anymore. Yeah. You just know you had to get it done. And like, I didn't even, I, I didn't even know how I got it done. I don't even know like what yeah. I did to, to do that. I was just like trying everything and I don't know man I know watching you like I like watching you do it though because I just remember I sat with you and like I wasn't on my phone or anything for some reason I was just watching you do this I felt like hours we were like on this one level I remember it was with like the the kid was running through and like these like creature things were over here or something and like there was like a fucking log and like some river or some shit I don't even know what the point it's was yeah, it's yeah but I didn't even know what the point was but you were on this level it's forever it's the and fucking, even, you don't get the point of war or being a god <laughs> shut the fuck up Sarah <laughs> <laughs> like you were battling these fucking dudes forever yeah and, then, and it was like the easiest guys too they're the easiest guys and but like, you were on extreme hard yeah because you know hold on babe wait till it's I know okay. I was on extremely hard because I know doing it on easy is not going to be nearly as satisfying as being it at, 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 at hard and that opened, yeah, when, like, I think that opened up another side to my, because when you met me, you saw me, I would do easiest first. Yeah. I want to test I, the waters. Well. I'm going to put my toe you, in there. My view of you when I first met you, my view of you, let's see, coming into jujitsu, you know, trying to roll, like, all right, so going to today mm. let's see I, I was trying to meet Ollie because I wanted to get get better at my jiu-jitsu mm -hmm. and um, I was just waiting there for two hours literally I was waiting there for two hours because <laughs> <laughs> I got there early, you got there too early and honestly yeah. it's not because I, I mixed up the times it's literally because I was so empty in my life at the time I uh, there was really nothing in my life. Uh, I didn't feel like I could be at home. I didn't feel like I had, um, you know, I, I obviously had work and stuff. Like, came back from college and, like, I felt, you know, I felt like I could show my face at home because it was like an embarrassment kind of thing. And I had no idea any of that was going on. Yeah, and I was fighting and I was just continuing to fighting and I was just like, what the fuck? Why am I doing this? And why am I not back in school? And, it was just a lot of stupid shit was going on, you know? And I, I was being rejected by, you know, I what I felt like friends and girls and everything, like, wow. you know. I don't, but it wasn't necessarily being rejected. It was just like, I was, I wanted just to have something or someone there, you know? Yeah. Like, I think my friends would kind of get tired of me. I, they probably won't say that now, but like, <laughs> I, th I thought I was like oh, like trying to spend way too much time with them. Like or, you were clinging on to them too Yeah, much. clinging on to my friends and clinging on to literally any female I would meet, like I'd try to like have a relationship with and stuff at the time and I was just so empty. <laughs> then I came along. And then you came along <laughs> and you had all of that. You literally, literally